There's usually a very good turnout for the service of remembrance at St Nicholas Church, Hintlesham in Suffolk. Not this year, thanks to the pandemic. But we'll still remember the names on the memorials, like the Wards and the Mowers from Primrose Hill. If truth be told, it's not much of a hill. It's part of Duke Street in Hintlesham, and at the top of Primrose Hill, there are cottages, and in the interwar years, two adjoining cottages belong to the Mower family and the Ward family. And you can just imagine the children running in and out of each other's cottages and playing. When the war came along, both families suffered terribly. The Wards lost two sons, as did the Mowers. Corporal Norman Ward served with the Norfolk Regiment in Malaya and on the 24th of January 1942 he was killed in Malaya as the Japanese forces were coming down the peninsula heading towards Singapore. That's where Norman was killed. He has no known grave and is commemorated in Hintlesham and on the Singapore Memorial. He was 28. His brother Sidney, now well, there's a bit of a mystery, of all the men listed on the memorials in Hintlesham and Chattersham, Sidney is the one I can find no military record for at all. I've no idea really what happened to Sidney. I'm told by some in the village that he was a sailor and that he was at sea and his ship was involved in some sort of incident that resulted in Sidney being in hospital in Scotland where he died. But I've no proof whatsoever about it. So if you know, could you please let me know? What we do know though, is that he did serve at sea because a photograph emerged this summer of Sydney and his brother, Corporal Norman Ward. And there they are with arms around each other. And another photograph emerged. And on the back of the photograph, it says Sydney and Mabel. Was Mabel Sidney's wife? Was Mabel a friend? Was Mabel his sister? I've no idea. Again, if you've got any knowledge, if you've got any information, I would love to be able to add it to the website. So that was the story of the wards at Primrose Hill. Next door were the mowers. Now at this stage, I have to consult the website www.hintlshamwarmemorial.com because there are quite a few names and there were quite a few people living next door in the cottage of the mowers. First of all, there was mum and dad. They were Nellie and John. Then there was Ruby. Now, Ruby is still with us and she lives in Hintlesham and she's 99 years old. Two of her brothers, Dick and Stan, survived the war. They took part in the D-Day landings, but two of her brothers didn't. And first, the story of George. Now, George was serving with the Royal Artillery in North Africa when he was taken prisoner of war. And on the 14th of November, 1942, Sydney, along with over 800 other POWs, prisoners of war, they were put on board a ship, the SS Skillen, and the ship was bound for Italy, and they were to take the prisoners of war across the Mediterranean from North Africa to Italy. Also at sea on the 14th of November 1942 was HMS Saab. Now HMS Saab was a submarine under the command of Lieutenant John Bromwich. The Saab saw the ship in the distance, the SS Skillen, and believing it to be an Italian troop ship, they put a torpedo into its side and the ship sank. It was only when they heard the screams of English voices in the water, hoping to be rescued, that Bromwich and the rest of the crew of HMS Saab realised the terrible mistake that they had made in putting a torpedo in the side of a ship carrying prisoners of war. There was an immediate inquiry in which Lieutenant John Bromwich was cleared. However, the details of the sinking of the Skillen were not made public for another 54 years. It wasn't until 1996 that the families of those who were killed and drowned at sea learned the true story of the sinking of SS Skillen. 
His brother Sidney's death was no less tragic, of course. Sidney was serving with the 5th Battalion of the Suffolk Regiment in the Far East and was taken prisoner by the Japanese and forced to work on the infamous Railway of Death. Now, the Railway of Death was a railway that was to link Siam to Burma, or as we would say these days, Thailand to Myanmar. Sydney died on the 13th of August 1943 and one can only imagine in our worst nightmares the horrors that Sydney and all the other prisoners who were forced to work on the Railway of Death endured. Again I have to refer to the website because I want to pronounce this correctly. Sydney is buried at Than Bayou Zayat. Now Than Bayou Zayat is at the end of the line in Burma or Myanmar and there's a big military cemetery and that's where Sydney is buried as I say he was he died on the 4th of August 1943 aged 30 but he's not the only one to be buried at that cemetery at Than Bayou Zayat because Frederick Balaam who is also serving with the 5th Battalion of the Suffolks he's also buried there he also worked on the railway of death and Frederick died aged 24 on the 13th of October. Four days later, Sidney Wright, who's commemorated in Chattersham Church, who also served with the 5th Battalion of the Suffolks, he died the 17th of October, 1943. And that's a very significant date because it was on the 17th of October, 1943, that the Railway of Death was completed. And that's the story of the Wards and the Mowers who live next door to each other at Primrose Hill. If you'd like to know more about all the men listed on the memorials in Chattersham and Hintlesham, do take a look at the website. It's www.hintleshamwarmemorial.com. That's www.hintleshamwarmemorial.com. The men who are listed on the memorials in Hintlesham and Chattersham were ordinary sorts, they came in the main from humble beginnings. But when the call came to serve king and country, they did extraordinary things in the service of their king and of their country. And it is these men that we remember on this Remembrance Sunday.